You wanna come up? You wanna come up? I hope you don't poop on me, Scarlett. Is she gonna poop on me? So, I was just filming this intro and then Scarlett came up onto my shoulder, so I'll have to film the intro again. Oh, oh gosh. Scarlett! <laughs> I feel like Scarlett is like a lot bigger than Koopa. Yeah, oh, Scarlett, why? Why do you want to sit on my shoulder? No, no, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is this? Her ass is in my face! <laughs> what is this, Scarlett? That is rude! Can I just film it? This is Jen and welcome back to my channel. Scarlett was sitting here and then she just climbed up onto my shoulder and she won't really get off so I'm just going to have to film this with her sitting here. I don't know what she's going to do. She's still young and she's like a baby. She's figuring things out so everything is going into her mouth. She might just like come and bite my hair and my face and stuff but let's just be calm. Okay guys, I have been sick the past few days. My hair is different. What else have I got to say? Yes, I've been down with either food poisoning or a stomach virus, I'm not sure what. Oh, okay, I should have known that was gonna happen. So I was just saying how I've been sick the past few days and I somehow gathered my energy to film this and once the camera's on, I started to get like happy again because I'm talking about makeup. So I might not seem like I've been sick, but I really have and I just thank you guys so much for all of your get well messages and everything throughout the time that's really supported me and helped me get through it. So, um, yes, my hair is different as well. I've cut off those blue ends that I promised you guys I would vlog if I do finally do it. I didn't know I'd do it so quickly, but I ended up doing it. And then today I went and did an ombre root. So it is actually like an ash blue color. So yeah, it's not gonna last too long, but it's a fun thing that I wanted to try out. So I have finally got for you guys my favorites for the month of June. And this month I've actually been really loving a lot of like non-Korean products. But for cream products, mostly they've been lip products. So yeah, I've got a good mix here and I'm gonna get right into them. So the first thing that I have been loving this month from all my cushions has been my YSL cushion. And there have been a lot of new BB cushions that have recently come out like the Laneige and Iope ones. I have been liking them too, but I haven't been using them enough to say that they are my favorites yet because I haven't really got a good feel of it yet but yeah this is the one that i have been carrying around with me for the past month or two in my bag it's just a really trustworthy loyal sort of friend that i can trust with my skin to give me a really nice glowy skin finish and it doesn't get darkened so it doesn't oxidize but it leaves my skin just feeling nice and neutral not too dewy or sticky and not too matte um, it doesn't get cakey, it just looks really, really healthy and beautiful and glowing from within. So yeah, the um, YSL Fusion Ink Cushion Foundation in number 20 is the one that I use and it's got SPF 23, not too much, but it's okay. And as a side note, I thought I'd tell you guys that I have tried the Shu Omura one and I have to tell you guys that I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know, I've been using it over and over again trying to give it a good go because I've heard a lot of good reviews about it, but I just find it really streaky and cakey. Like it just doesn't look like a BB cushion. It looks like what a foundation would do. And I feel like that defeats the purpose of a BB cushion, um, especially because you have to apply it by not patting it, but by sliding across the face. So I don't know, I personally don't think it's an amazing cushion, but if I were to um, really recommend a couple of top brands for you guys, off the top of my head, it will be YSL, Laneige, Ayope, Hera, and Misha. So that's my current sort of off the top of my head ones that I recommend um, as a general safe one to go for for everybody. But yes, my ultimate favorite has been the YSL Fusion Ink one and it's been with me everywhere I went. And also my favorite for this month has been my YSL makeup bag, this gorgeous fuchsia colored thing with a gold zipper. This actually came with um, the product purchase that I made. I think it was like over $75 purchase or something. Oh, you wanna come up? She wants to be like closer to the camera maybe. I think she wants to fly back to her cage. It's just the perfect size and I love the like luxurious little opening. Um, it is kind of inconvenient that it's like on the side so that I have to sort of rummage through kind of inconveniently. I wish it was maybe at the top or so so I can open it up properly. But I've been carrying all my makeup around in this for the past month, month and a half. 
Now for concealer, this month I have been really going back to basics because I need something that lasts quite a long time and especially with Korea becoming more humid I have been reaching for my Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer It's the Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer with SPF 10 and mine is in number 1 light Comes with a dofa applicator like this and it's just really really good coverage It lasts, it lasts all day, like it doesn't disappear um, you can build up the coverage. I find it better and more hydrating than the Makeup Forever concealer. The um, I forgot the name of it now. I did a whole review about it like a, a year ago, but it's less drying than that. So this formula is much better for acne and it also works really well for my undry circles too. So I have been reaching for this and I've been carrying this around with me this month. And it's also, um, it's very buildable and it's very medium to high full coverage. So today I'm trying to, um, I'm filming again when the sun is setting but it's Friday night so Ulfa and I are going to go to watch a movie and have dinner at the, um, the mall and Ulfa wants to have Mexican tonight or maybe Italian and he wants to watch Independence Day but I hate those like sci-fi alien movies, it's like one of my least favourite genres but I'm just going to have to suck it up and do it for him. Who else goes through these guys? Any girls out there that like have to sacrifice for your guys taste in movies or maybe you might be a huge fan of sci-fi I'm just not, I don't like it but hopefully it's a good movie so without blabbing too much more guys for eyeliners I've been loving Korean eyeliners so I even have a backup of this one this is my absolute favourite black waterproof pencil eyeliner for the waterline and it's the Espoir colour painting waterproof eye pencil in Womanizer and it's just awesome like I've mentioned it in many videos before I think so I don't think I'll go into too much detail but this is the one that I recommend out of all of the pencil black eyeliners on the Korean market at the moment the formula is like really super waterproof and really pigmented it's really creamy and it doesn't smudge I think some people who have oily lids maybe this will smudge on you because I can't vouch for it since I don't have oily lids I can't really tell but this is the most long wear, non-budge, kind of trustworthy pencil that I have. Yeah, I've been using this over any like gel pot liner, including Bobbi Brown's, which is like, you guys know, my ultimate favorite for foolproof, sort of um, long lasting liner. But yes, this is it. And it also comes with a smudger tip on the other end. When I met some of my subbies, my muses on the streets in Korea, this is the one that I told them to go get and they went to buy it. I also recommended the Clio Kill Liner and this is my favorite for the month. I always use Kill Black, but this month I thought I'd show you guys Kill Brown. It's the waterproof brush liner. I don't like the pen liner that much. I like the brush liner because I feel like it just works a little bit better for my eyelid type. Some people who have like really huge eyelid space would probably like the pen liner better because it's a bit thicker but this is more flexible and thin and accurate and yeah you can like do a bunch of squiggly lines with it as well. It's just really um, a great great formula you guys know I love it so I have been really loving the Clio Kill Brown Waterproof Brush Liner and for the black one a new one that I've come across and I've been using actually more than the Clio's Kill Black is the Ayope Perfect Defining Eyeliner in number one and I actually have been reaching for this more than the Clio one because I feel like the brush is superior it's really similar quality but it's something about it is just better it's, the formula is very very pigmented and I feel like it's just a slightly little bit more creamier than the Kill Black Clio Kill Black but having said that, this is not waterproof, but it's definitely smudge proof. And I've never seen this smudge or get onto anywhere. These three have been my favorite eyeliners for the month of June and probably a month before that as well, because I haven't done favorites in so long. For eyebrows, I have been absolutely loving my Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, how could I forget the name? The brow is in caramel and this is what Angel Oni got me so thank you so much Oni! I need to get myself another one of this when I go to LA next month for KCON Woohoo! Can't wait to see you guys there I actually haven't announced that yet This is my announcement! <laughs> yes, I'm actually going to LA for KCON guys so I am going to be there for the first time ever and get to see you guys and I'll either be doing a workshop or panel as well and William will be coming too so very very excited but anyways i'm gonna stock up on so much stuff tart sephora here i come so i have been loving this eyebrow pencil there's nothing to say about it it's just awesome and there is a reason why there is such hype around it you only really understand it once you get your hands on one and try it for yourself so i've been loving this for my brows 
For highlighter this month, I've been trying something different. As you guys know, I've been a huge lover of the MAC Soft and Gentle for years. I've got the old MAC case. This is a really, really awesome highlighter. I think it's just a staple in everyone's collection. So yeah, super pigmented. It's not chalky at all, and it gives you that really great beige sort of shine. But I have picked up the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade this month, and I've been loving this one as well. It's slightly, slightly more chalky and powdery than Soft and Gentle, but um, if you use the right brush, you can achieve the same effect. It's a different tone, so as you can see, this is a little bit darker. This is more beige champagne-y, and this is a little bit more pale yellowy. So he's really great for if you're a little bit bronzed up and you know, all summered up. So for the pale girls, I do recommend Light Scapade. Go check it out. I just use a contour brush to apply it on the top of my cheekbones, and then I take a little like eyeshadow type of brush and apply it here on my cupid's bow and down the nose. So I have been loving that. And now onto my lip products, the ones that I have been loving this month. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited to show you guys. These have been with me in my bag like every day. The Laneige Two-Tone Lip Bars. And these ones are the Aritam Volume Up Oil Tints. So I'm sure you guys have heard of these two-tone lip bars. I actually own four of them, but these ones are my two favorite colors. And I've been using either one of these like every single day. As you guys know, I'm a complete sell out for gradient lips so there are ones that have like a really light either white color or a yellow color on them so yeah my favorite colors have been number four milk blurry blurry it's the one with the red and white bar they're really creamy and sort of mattifying but moisturizing at the same time and you can't see the white part but the white basically blurs out the outer lip part and I know in the Western world the gradient lips are trending right now as well but in the opposite way so having the lighter color on the inner corner and you can also use these in that way like just put it on the in a corner. So yeah, the other color that I've been loving is the infamous Songyegu color in number 11, Juicy Pop, and it's the one that has like this gorgeous peachy pink with a yellow, which is so pretty. Like this is just super flattering. It's just so gorgeous. And these two guys have been great for whenever I feel like my lips need a little bit of a gloss, but not lip gloss because I don't like gloss, you know, hair sticking. Um, and also it volumizes my lips and it plumps them up, makes them look really healthy and it doesn't like feel like you've got something staying on top but it kind of absorbs in which I really like. And the ones that I have been using are in number three, Bounce Pink and number one, Fireplace. So a quick swatch of those lipsticks before and then these ones. I don't know why this is called Bounce Pink, but it's a really gorgeous orangey color. I love it. And this is number one, Fireplace. It's a classic red, but it's just a really nice jellish red. I think I just love any lip tints that are kind of jellish. Super pigmented, right? I love it. And it can be gradiented out as well. A lot of glosses can't really be, so. So yes, I've been loving these guys so much and I can't live without them right now. And finally, I have been loving my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray to fix all my makeup in place and also use it before applying foundation so that my foundation stays on longer as well. And also using it to like prep my sponges before I use it to blend things has been really awesome. I've been loving that. And that about wraps it up for my monthly favorites for this month. The sun is setting, it's getting darker. <laughs> William is waiting for dinner. So I hope you guys enjoy this favorites video that I haven't done in a super duper long time. So that is it from Jen and I hope you guys have a great day and a great week and week, week or weekend. One of you guys are watching this video. Um, I love you guys heaps and heaps. I think filming this video has made me feel a lot better for my sickness. So I should film more videos when I'm sick maybe. So so let me know down in the comments below what your favorite product has been this month and also what you guys think of my hair color. I know it's something new, but it's definitely temporary. Don't forget, William and I will be going to KCON LA and we can't wait to see you. So get your tickets and get ready to see us. Yay! Please let us know if you are going to be there to see us and to see everyone, all the K-pop stars as well. It's going to be super fun. I hope you guys take care of yourselves. Um, stay healthy inside and out mentally and also physically take care of yourselves better than me please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more i love you guys heaps and heaps from the bottom of my heart thank you guys for your support and i will see you guys all in my next video bye so today i'm going to be showing you guys basically all these masks these are going to be the best sellers or my personal recommendations from low end mid end 
high end. The first time you use it, you might be shocked because it's actually purple. It's like a super strong purple color. But it actually foams as well, so it feels nice. It feels like a shampoo. On the days where. It